Hello, my name is Mrs Robinson. I'm here to speak to you about the option of GCSE Spanish. Um, as you can see from this slide, um, lots of familiar topics at GCSE Spanish, topics that you'll be familiar with, things you'll have covered to some extent in year seven, eight or nine. Um, there are some new topics as well, and those particularly re relate to festivals and customs. Also a bit on the environment as well and social issues such as poverty and um, and problems with the environment and, and issues like that. Some additional information then, just so you know about how the course will run. There are four key skill areas. You'll carry on practicing those as you have done so far, listening, speaking, reading and writing. As I've just said, a lot of the topics will be familiar to you because you'll have seen some of them already. During your GCSE lessons, you'll see and hear authentic materials. Um, be able to understand and show you comprehension skills. The, the exciting thing really, I think, from studying a language at GCSE is that you'll be able to communicate in that foreign language in speaking and in writing. You'll learn lots about the culture, um, Spain and Spanish speaking countries. Uh, the final point then, we have run successful trips to Madrid in the past and we do hope to do that again in the future. Some information on assessment then. Um, each skill is assessed, each skill is worth the same amount of the GCSE, so 25%. It's aimed at either foundation or higher tier, so you'll be entered for all exams in one or other of those tiers. You can see there then that the kind of grades are being expected um, with those different exams. You will complete practice exams in all skills, so listening, speaking, reading and writing in year 10, and then again in year 11 before the real thing. So if you're wondering whether GCSE Spanish is the course for you, if you enjoy studying Spanish this year, if it's something that you uh, enjoy doing and you can see the value in it, you're prepared to keep working hard, then definitely it's something you should be doing. It is something that can help to increase your job prospects in the future. And we do need you to be well motivated and prepared to spend time on, on learning the language outside of the classroom, particularly vocabulary. There's lots of vocab that you need to be aware of and Memrise is a useful website that we encourage our students to use. You'll have used that before, I think, probably lower down in the score. Um, also, learning a language is really useful in terms of improving knowledge of English, your overall communication skills, confidence and problem solving abilities. Here are a few quotes then from our current year 10 students. Just to let you have a look at those. We asked them for what advice they would give to year nine students opting for Spanish. So the main thing really was keep revising as you go along, just kind of little and often really, and also uh, really important with your memorise. Well, I hope it's been useful and please feel free to get in touch if you need any extra information.